Good morning. Today we're looking at example four out of section 3.5, an introduction to solver from business calculus with Excel. This one we look at how we actually, the mathematics behind best fitting curves or trend lines, we're looking to minimize the sum of square errors to find a trend line. So the setup is I have data for X and Y. I'm going to say there's some line that if I have A as my slope and B as my intercept, I can predict values. I'm going to look at the predicted value minus the actual value, square that, that's the error squared, add it up, and I'm interested in the sum of squares. The definition we have for minimizing is that the sum of squares should be minimized, and that will be the best fitting curve. That shows me my formulas. I go back to numbers. I actually have already done a trend line, and so according to Excel, the trend line is 19.7x plus 11.5y. I'm going to find that by now saying I'd like to go to my data, go to solver, and what I'd like to do is this value here, the sum of squares, I'd like to minimize that, and as opposed to what we did with goal seek, I get to have two input values. So I've said I'm going to change B2 and B3, and this lets me change several things and minimize with several things. I solve, trying to minimize, and I've gone from 25,000 as my sum of squares to 82, 88. 0.3 as my sum of squares. That's a whole lot of decrease, but notice 19.6999 rounds to 19.7, and 11.5001 rounds to 11.5. So I found the coefficients of my trend line by doing a best fit sum of squares. Thank you.